Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, our topic is subfactorial, or sometimes we call it left factorial. And the left factorial is represented by the factorial sign is on the left hand side of a number as you can see over here. Moreover, I will show you how to calculate the value of subfactorial 3 as well as the subfactorial of 5 in a step by step explanation. So let's go ahead and get started and let's talk about the basics of subfactorial for just a few minutes. The subfactorial is also known as dearrangements. That means not in an original position of the objects. And now let me give you a really simple example. Here we have got an example where we have a set that contains three objects A, B, and C. And we want to find the possible arrangements. And here are the possible six arrangements as you can see for these three objects. And here in this example, we can see that these two options are two arrangements where these A, B, and C are not their original position, isn't it? So thus our answer is going to be two. That means we have these three objects means the subfactorial of three, the answer is two. Let me go over once again these four options we discarded. We discounted. The reason is here A, B, and C, they have their original position, so no wonder we discounted them. Likewise, here A is in its original position. No wonder I have just discarded it. Likewise, in this option over here, C is in original position, so we discarded it as well. And similarly, over here in this one, B is in its original position. That's the reason why we just tossed it. And now I'm going to show you the formulas that we will be using to calculate the subfactorial. And here's the very crucial formula that we will be using to calculate the subfactorial. And here in this formula, this sigma notation, this symbol is called sigma. And sigma in mathematics means sum. That means we need to add the numbers. And here are, we have a couple of more formulas that could be used to find the subfactorial of a number. However, I will be using this formula because this is a lot more user friendly. And now let me show you how to calculate the subfactorial of this three. And the very first thing over here, just keep in your mind, this number three, I'm going to call n equal to 3 in our case. And now let's go ahead and apply this formula over here. So this could be written as the left factorial or subfactorial of 3 could be written as 3 factorial times the sigma of k goes from 0 through n in our case is 3. So it's going to go from 0 to 3 of negative 1 power k divided by k factorial. Just keep in your mind. And here we can see 3 factorial. This is just the regular factorial. No wonder I just found the value of this one. This turns out to be 6. So let's go ahead and write down 6 and then times, I'm going to put a bracket. Let's take care of this part. This goes, k goes from 0 to 3. So I am going to write down like this one. I'm going to say negative 1 power 0 divided by 0 factorial plus negative 1 power 1 divided by 1 factorial plus negative 1 power 2 over 2 factorial 
plus negative 1 power 3 divided by 3 factorial and we have to stop at this 3 and now let's go ahead and uh, simplify these fractions and here I have just listed the values of all these so let's go ahead and write down 6 times I can write 1 over 1 plus negative 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus negative 1 over 6 and here I have simplified these fractions 1 over 1 could be written as 1 negative 1 over 1 could be written as negative 1 and likewise here we can see positive 1 and negative 1 they cancel each other out and moreover here I have just simplified these two fractions right up here the justification so I can write this one 1 over 3 and that is equal to 6 times 1 over 3 is simply 2 so thus the subfactorial of 3 turns out to be 2 and that's our final answer and now let's go ahead and calculate the value of subfactorial of 5 as you can see over here and once again we're going to be applying this formula on the right hand side the very first step is in our case n equals to 5 just keep in your mind and now let's go ahead and apply this formula on this left factorial of 5 that is going to become 5 factorial outside and then sigma k goes from 0 to n this time is 5 and then negative 1 power k divided by k factorial and now let's expand it furthermore we know that this 5 factorial equals to 120 because that's a regular factorial so I can write 120 and then let's expand this one we can write this one negative 1 power 0 over 0 factorial plus negative 1 power 1 over 1 factorial plus negative 1 power 2 over 2 factorial plus negative 1 power 3 over 3 factorial and plus negative 1 power 4 factorial 4 power divided by 4 factorial and finally negative 1 power 5 over 5 factorial and then we're going to close the bracket and now let's go ahead and simplify these fractions and I have just listed these values over here so let's go ahead and get started then 120 and this could be written as 1 over 1 plus negative 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus negative 1 divided by 6 plus 1 over 24 and then plus negative 1 divided by 120 and here in this next step I have simplified these fractions as you can see and we can see this negative 1 and positive 1 this is gone and here's our next step let's go ahead and distribute these over here this 120 with each and every fraction across the board and here I have just multiplied out 120 across the board let's go ahead and simplify this thing 120 times 1 over 2 is 60 and here that is going to give us negative 20 and this is plus 5 and this is negative 1 and if we simplify add and subtract everything that is going to give us 44 as our final answer so thus the subfactorial of 5 turns out to be 44 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.